My name is Katherine Nordell, and I am the Supervisor of Bacteriology and Mycology at the Arizona State Public Health Lab. So as a supervisor, I oversee the testing of bacterial and fungal isolates that we receive from all over the state of Arizona. A big part of what we do is that we are looking for particular pathogens. These are organisms that are very resistant to antibiotics. They can make you very, very sick and can be very easily transmitted from one person to another. When I started out, what drew me to the field to begin with uh, is that there's very much a Sherlock Holmes aspect to what we do. Because when we look at a plate that has full of bacteria, we don't know much about the patient. We actually have to do a little bit of investigation. Why was the patient brought into the hospital? What are they sick with? What are their symptoms? What are the results of some of the other biochemical tests that are done on this patient? And we take all of that information and then we look at what grows on the plate and we say, okay, so I know that this is a, what we call a clinically significant pathogen. And we would report that to the doctor and then the doctor would then prescribe treatment based on what we tell him or her. So part of what my job was and is, is to look and see, is there anything there that shouldn't be there or is there too much of something there? Uh, the specific skills that I use, um, I do a lot of reading, I do do a lot of writing, not just of procedures, but I also have to write articles for newsletters. I put together presentations that are often intended for a more wide array of audiences. So if you're somebody who likes math, if you like computer programming, maybe you're not as interested in bacteria or mycology, there's still a place for you. Uh, especially now, data analytics is exploding in the biological sciences. We need people who have that analytical mindset um, who can look at data and can see the patterns and can help us to make sense of it because sometimes it can be very, very complicated. Some of the interpersonal skills that I've had to work pretty hard to develop because again, I'm an introvert. I've had to learn how to express kind of the same concept in a lot of different ways. Because one of the things I've learned as a manager is that not everybody thinks the same way. So I've had to learn, depending on who I'm talking to, how do I tailor my instructions to guarantee them the best chance of success. Another skill which is as important is that you have to listen, really, really listen. Um, there's a lot of uh, critical data that can get lost if you're not paying close enough attention to what somebody is saying. So really developing those listening skills uh, and it'll, you'll find that it'll make you a better healthcare pr practitioner as well. So what held me back when I was in high school, I thought I had to be good at all aspects of science to be a scientist. I never took physics. Um, and I didn't do very well in chemistry and I thought, well, because I'm not good at those things, I shouldn't be a scientist. And being in healthcare was something that I kept it in the back of my mind. My grandfather was a pharmacist, my grandmother was a nurse. So the interest was there, I just didn't think I had the ability. I decided, you know what, what do I have to lose? I'm going to try. So I signed up for that chemistry course and I found that I do understand it and it spurred me to continue on that path. And originally, when I was looking into going into healthcare, I was thinking about pharmacy, but then I came across the field of laboratory science. And that's something that if maybe if you're like me and you're interested in healthcare, but you don't really feel called to be a doctor or a nurse, take a look at some of those auxiliary uh, professions. There are so many careers possible in healthcare. There are medical laboratory scientists like me, there are radiologists. So just because you don't, maybe don't wanna be a doctor, that doesn't mean you can't help people in a way that speaks to you.